Safaricom CEO Bob Collimore has resumed duty. Collimore has been away on medical leave since October last year. Now appearing before a parliamentary committee on communication, information and innovation, the CEO defended the firm's market leadership against claims it was a dominant player. Mumbi Warui has the details. His entry into the county hall mini chamber announced his return into the country after a nine months medical leave. Safaricom CEO Bob Colimo appearing before the Parliamentary Committee on Communication, Information and Innovation. His presence least expected. I now have to go and explain to the rest of my, uh, my team why they didn't know that I'm back. Um, so, but but it, it's a measure of the importance with which we view Parliament and indeed this committee as it considers the matters you described. Shortly before his parliamentary appearance, Colimo had announced his return on social media. In the post, he thanked staff at the Universal College London Hospitals, his team at Safaricom and spouse. In May, Colimo addressed an investor briefing from London where he was undergoing treatment. I just entered the final phase of treatment and expect to be back in Nairobi as soon as the doctors feel that my immune system is sufficiently robust. This making his first public appearance since October 2017 when the board announced that he was taking a medical leave. At Parliament, Colimo once again defended Safaricom's market position, saying interventions proposed in a report by Analysis Mason, commissioned by the Communications Authority, would punish Safaricom's customers and stifle innovation. We're not saying we're not more than 50%. We think we're a very successful company. And I think you know, both, uh, both honorable members said that what we should be trying to do is to examine how we can get another 10 Safaricoms in, in whichever industry. The whole idea here, is to not only save Kenyans from uh, uh, the consequences of uh, the failings of dominance, but maybe also save Safaricom from its own success. Last week, Telcom CEO Aldo Marus called for the industry regulator to declare the listed Telco a dominant operator. A position Safaricom reported. Investment is the basis of competition. If you do not invest in your network and then you have to seek help from the regulator to come and equalize that situation, then what you are saying is that the person who is investing is doing the wrong thing. If today Safaricom said it was not going to roll out any more towers, the net loser would be this country. Mombi Warowe, Citizen TV.